Hey, Team Keen, we have a real treat for you today from our friends at AAMCF. They are an organization of arcade game makers and Keen's longest sponsor. Every year, Keen athletes in Chicago are invited to play on the newest and best arcade games. Stern Pinball makes amazing pinball games, including Star Wars The Mandalorian, The Avengers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. They've made a special video for us, taking us inside their factory to show us how these super cool games are made. Enjoy the show, and thank you to Stern Pinball and our keen friends at AAMCF. Hey Chicago Pinball Expo, what's going on? Jack Danger here. I'm currently standing in the Stern Arcade inside the Stern factory, and we're gonna give you an exclusive behind the scenes look at how these awesome games are made. So we're gonna jump right into it and head over to the parts department and see what they got going on. Let's go. All right. All right, so here we are in the parts department. So every Stern pinball machine has over 3,500 parts in it and we keep stock for up to 10 machines that we're making at any given time. And you can see every part is hand serialed, unique. I mean, who knows what you could find in here. We've got Metallica decals for the cabinet. They got, they got backup of everything. Game of Thrones? I might actually have to take this home. <laughs> All right, well, now we're gonna go see how all 3,500 plus parts are inspected by hand to make sure you get the quality you expect out of a Stern pinball machine. Let's go. Uh, is it possible for me to take one of these? Oh, sure. Thank you. All right, so here we are in the inspection area and every single part that goes into a pinball machine here at Stern is hand inspected. This is a start button they're putting together and it's all about quality control and making sure that these are correct and fit right before they go back into that parts department that we just came out of. And here you can see we've got a bunch of approved parts for games like Star Trek, Lord of the Rings. Uh, we've got some accepted dudes over here for WWE. Anything that comes in here is hand inspected with calipers to make sure it all fits the way it's supposed to. We are measuring out to make sure all of these leaf switches are exactly how they're supposed to be before they go into a game at your house or bar or wherever you're buying and putting these pinball machines. But yeah, get a close up of those rails, man. Whew. I got a mask on. All right, so that was the inspection cage. Now we're going into wiring. So you may have heard the stories about how much wire goes into a pinball machine, and it is a lot. And we're gonna see how all of that is put together right now. Here we go. More wire than a Toyota Corolla, or whatever car Gary said. All right, so here we are in cable assembly. Every pinball machine has its own unique wiring schematics that have to be gone through and wrapped around just so we're not wasting wire, there's not too much hanging down in the cabinet. And again, it's all done by hand. You can see here, it's very labor intensive. You have to meticulously go through every little wire, every little curve. It's hurting my brain just looking at what's going on here, but she's got this down to a science and uh, let's keep moving. It looks like arteries. Here is the cardiovascular system of a stern pinball machine. After the harnesses are done, there's still a lot of work that goes into this wiring. So you can see here, there's still more hand inspection that needs to go on. We're still stripping wires. We're still putting on connectors, still very labor intensive throughout this entire process. After all the connectors and such are added to the harnesses, now we come over here to test what's happening. We gotta make sure all of these are working because if one wire is out of place, we gotta send it all the way back because we don't want that showing up in your game. 
All right, here we have one of our testing boards, and if this looks homemade, that's because it is. We have to custom make every single testing tool that we have here in the factory for every game that we produce. And uh, look at this. You can't just buy this. We made this. Remember what I said about a bunch of wires? A sea of cables, all tested, ready to go into your pinball machine. It's wild. It's wild. The ball is wild, the wires are wild. Everything's wild, bro. All right, so that's wiring. Let's head over to the wood shop to see how they cut these play fields. Let's go. This is between you and me, internet. This is stuff you don't normally get to see going inside of the wood shop. We're gonna see how they cut up these play fields to put in your games. This is a computer assisted cutting tool that is taking the schematics of the playfield and cutting it out precisely so you can put your mechanisms and your inserts into the game. All right, here you can see one of the computers that they're using to get the CNC machine dialed in just right so that the cuts are clean, they're accurate, all the mechs are gonna fit properly, the inserts are gonna slide right in. All computer driven, and this gentleman is making sure that everything's running as smoothly as possible. And then we also have a planer over here that is carving down the play field to the precise width it needs to be thickness so that we can put it into the CNC and everything is as precise as possible. The router is cutting out the perimeter of the play field because it's done cutting out all the inserts. So after it's done making this outline, they can pop it out and start putting in the inserts. This is a pretty exciting part for me. Here we're putting in the inserts into the freshly cut play fields. We're adding the glue, hammering them in. You can see she's got a piece of wood to safely hammer the inserts down. Once these are placed, they come over here where we sand the entire play field to make sure the entire thing is level. And this is the preparation to bring it to where we're clear coating them in this back room that we're not gonna show you. I think we have a, a very finished product right here. You can see it's sort of shimmery. They've sanded it, cleared it. It made all the inserts clear again. This, I believe, is ready to start having some art and some mechs put on top of it. We're here in the decal department. This is where we're putting on all the art for the outside of the cabinets. And my guy over here is putting on the art blades for the interior limited edition Avengers Infinity Quest games. This, I believe, is a finished product already. We've got the front, the set. Yeah, this is this is done. Thanos, where are you, baby? There he is. This is the cabinet department. You can see we have some limited edition Avengers going out. This is the game getting put together, being ready for the play field to be put inside of it. Look at all these cabinets. Look at look at it all. All right, we're still in the cabinet department here. We've got some armor here for the Ellie Avengers, it looks like, all lined up. This is where we take the cabinet that was put together and decaled and start adding the sub-assemblies. This is where we're putting in our coin doors, we're putting in our plungers, our back boxes are being put on, we got the boards in here. We're just putting everything in here before we drop the play fields in and start wiring everything up. You can see it's all protected and uh, just ready to go down the line. All right, we're in sub-assembly. This is the heart of the assembly line here at Stern Pinball. Everything that goes into a game is being assembled right here, from the aprons to the toys to ramps. Uh, we actually have the sling ring from Avengers Infinity Quest being assembled here right now. Can I grab this really quick? Do you mind if I just steal this? Awesome. This is the spinning disc assembly from an LE Premium Avengers Infinity Quest. All hand assembled right here in Stern Pinball. Whoop! How do they come up with this stuff? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> All right, 
So this has to be one of the coolest tools here at Stern Pinball. This was acquired by Stern from Gottlieb back in the day, and every single playfield that has come through this factory has gone through this press. What this is doing is, depending on the machine that they're doing at the time, it's punching pilot holes for all your screws so that there's no guesswork in pushing your tools into that. In fact, I could show you a playfield right now. We have Avengers Infinity Quest, and you can see all these little punch marks for where the screws need to be so that when it's going down the line, they just push it right through. Pinball. Wow, we look at all these play fields. <laughs> Next. Here you can see one of the custom tools we made so that we can get the drilling as precise as possible and work it on down the line. Let's walk down the assembly line and see how these games are put together. All right, here we are on the assembly line. This is where we're adding everything onto the play fields. You can see the mechanisms, all the light boards, the node boards are on here. We're putting all of our bulbs in. All the major mechs are being assembled and put on the play fields here, and it just goes down the line. And then after everything is screwed in, you can see the hoods here. This is where all of the soldering is going on. So all those wires and mechanisms that we talked about are all being soldered in place here. Again, all by hand, every single wire, every single connector being soldered under this hood to make sure it stays where it needs to stay and works how it needs to work. Pretty cool. Here you can see this part of the assembly line, we're putting on all the stuff on top. This is all the assemblies, all the ramps. You can see just the, here's the Avengers Tower that's been placed on here. The flippers are going in. Uh, the Thanos glove has been <laughs> procured and placed onto the playfield. She's also putting in the, the wire forms and the habit trails. Pretty rad. Here you can see all of the finished play fields that have been assembled. And these are ready to be tested on the rest of the assembly line inside of the cabinets so that they can get put out and ready to go. Now that the playfields are assembled, we bring them over here to our rotisseries where we test absolutely everything on the game. All the diagnostics that we run here, you can actually do on your machine at home, but we're just making sure all the coils, the switches, the lights, everything's working properly on this playfield before it moves its way down the assembly line and into a cabinet. Well, here we are, folks, final assembly. This is where the rubber hits the road. We are putting our play fields in the cabinets. And what's cool is we ship games all over the world. As you can see here, these games are actually going to Australia. But before these are done, there's one final test that needs to happen. So all the tests that we did on the rotisseries over there are happening one more time on the game. They're going through all the diagnostics, making sure all the switches are working, and they're actually gonna play it briefly to make sure everything is as it should be. So what's cool about what's going on here is this is literally this gentleman's job to play pinball and make sure it's working the way it's supposed to. I say I'm jealous, but I kind of have the same job. All right, so this is final inspection. All these games are ready to go. They're getting one final look at to make sure all the QC has been done and it's ready to pack, which happens right over there. All right, here it is, final packing. We're finally putting this finished product into the box. It's got all of its instructions. It's been properly foamed, wrapped, taped, everything to keep it secure and safe. We're gonna close it up and send it off to you. You get it. Here you can see the stamps for all of the places that we ship our pinball machines, Mexico, Finland, Denmark, everything is laid out here. This is to signify where it needs to go once it's all packed up. Thanks again for joining me on this exclusive tour of Stern Pinball. We even showed you some stuff we normally don't show folks on these tours. So uh, I think it's time to just get out of the way and let these folks do what they do best and get these games out to you.